Have you ever wondered how huge projects and initiatives get done in today's complex world? Well, I am so lucky that I get to work with Lisa Keller. Uh, and we're just going to talk a little bit about one of the projects that's happening here. But first, Lisa, let's learn a bit more about yourself. So let's first start with some of the basics. So where do you work and what's your title? What, what's your job? work here at uh, Kettering Health. Uh, title is Senior Project Manager. Okay. And just work pretty much any project that is assigned that's requested from various business units in the organization. And I help support them and uh, to achieve their objectives and what they're trying to deliver. Now, for those of you out, out there who don't know, well, let's find out what a project manager does. So is this just something that you just sign up like, I'm fun at parties, so therefore I plan parties? <laughs> or what, what's really a project manager do? And there's a bit more to it. There is a bit more to it. I, I think people a lot of times are drawn to project management because they realize they're good at organizing mm -hmm. a lot of detail, good at supporting people, good at communicating and mm -hmm. helping pull a large group of people together to achieve what they're working toward. Um, there are ways to certainly uh, get into project management, you know, formal training, formal certifications, absolutely mm -hmm. best practices to follow, industry standards, and mm -hmm. just what you would expect of any professional with a, a certification. And uh, it's there are a lot of different um, industries, mm -hmm. projects managers support. Healthcare, of course, is a big one. Construction, mm -hmm. you see it throughout all types of business area. Yeah. And it really just centers around those common themes where you're, you're looking for uh, the best ways to support um, a business area or even a, a, a technical team is trying to accomplish something that they may not have the enough staff to do mm -hmm. or enough time and attention. So they leverage the project manager's focus, attention to detail, ability to organize, ability to just take in all sorts of inputs mm -hmm. and massive amounts of data and help the, help the teams map out how they're going to get from the beginning to the end of what they're trying to accomplish. All right, cool. Thank you. So about two years ago, Kettering Health embarked upon a decision to rebrand. We had a variety of different hospitals, all named something different. And the hospital where we're standing is at Kettering Health Hamilton was no different. We were formerly known as Fort Hamilton Hospital. So we said, let's change the name of the hospital. And that's when Lisa got involved. And Lisa, one of the things that you did was you created a very complex document mm -hmm. that mapped out from point A to point B, uh, to, yep. from A to Z, how we got from this idea of changing a name to actually getting to, in this case, executed vinyl or uh, signage on a building. Yep. So maybe just walk us through some of the things that maybe folks don't think about mm -hmm. when they're thinking about, in this case, we're just gonna change a name. Yeah, now, on healthcare, a lot of challenges come to um, uh, anyone who understands healthcare. Mm -hmm. It's a very highly regulated industry. Yep. So it's not just a matter of changing a sign. It's all the administration details behind the mm -hmm. sign that really is where people don't, s and your patients and visitors don't need to see that and don't yeah. have to see that. But to run the health system, you have to, to pay attention to those details. Uh, and that's to make sure those, those regula regulations exist mm -hmm. for the safety and the benefit of patients and visitors. So we have to make sure to follow all of those regulations. So yes, the uh, obvious objective of rebranding, update the signage. Mm -hmm. Great, start planning that out. That mm -hmm. has its own series of details of how to accomplish that. Mm -hmm. Then what we have to take a look at is, okay, we're gonna change a name. What else do we need to change? Mm -hmm. Whether that's in um, the, the systems, yep. whether that's in the, um, just the financial area, whether mm -hmm. that's patient communications, anything they see going out to them. So that's what started, uh, like you said, about a little over two years ago. Uh, and the team's trying to lay out all of those details, yep. all of the areas of the hospital that are affected, all the people who are affected, mm -hmm. and then also what does it mean to, um, the, what's the impact internally, mm -hmm. as well as externally to the community, to patients, to visitors, mm -hmm. and trying to put all that together and organize it. And what a project manager helps teams do is take all of, again, take all of that detail mm -hmm. and help kind of map out you know, how many different work efforts are there, because it's not just one, yep. there are multiple work efforts, um, and then to work with each of the teams who are responsible for each of those work efforts to mm -hmm. come together to the final uh, the final deliverable. So yeah, it's it's a lot. Yeah. And, and that's why something like this, it's like, oh, just let's just change signs, we can change our colors, we can just put, it's never that simple, yeah. and especially in healthcare, it's mm -hmm. never that simple. Um, and so, uh, it's great that we get to put the signs up because yep. we've done all of the work behind the scenes to make sure we're allowed to do that mm -hmm. um, and that we have everything that we've covered again with those communications with our, our customers. 
So one of the things I really appreciate about the work that Lisa did was she walked us through the different stakeholders. She walked us through the timeline and productions, but also went through various things that actually helped us visualize what things were going to look like. So we talked about the different types of medium, the different types of lighting, the angles. And so some of the things that we saw that we had to trim some trees or we had to move some bushes here and there, uh, we had to get electrical run. So Lisa really thought through all of the different aspects to really make this be a very seamless uh, project. And hopefully it's something that is a little bit easier for our guests to navigate and to get access to services that they need here at the hospital. So Lisa, let's find out just a little bit more mm -hmm. about you. So what do you love most about working at Kettering Health? I, I tell you, working for a variety of different companies over throughout my career, what I love most about Kettering Health is the, the culture. Mm -hmm. I, I truly do. I can, I can say that without any hesitation at all, mm -hmm. especially in a project like a project environment like this. And mm -hmm. being a project manager, it's so it, it's it, it's so instrumental to being able to be successful, to have an organization that's mm -hmm. behind you, that supports you and, and all works together really well. Mm -hmm. And this culture does that here. That's what I appreciate most. So let's find out something. So if you could go back and give yourself some advice when you were starting college, because mm -hmm. I'm sure you didn't think you'd be standing here no. <laughs> working in healthcare, working on uh, projects. What, what's one piece of advice that you would give yourself or maybe somebody who's looking and saying, ah, that's something I'd like to do or I'd like to be a part mm -hmm. of. What advice would you give him or her? Keep looking for opportunities to learn because that's how I got into project management. Healthcare business was always my interest, uh -huh. um, but no, I did not know or n anything about project management as a discipline or a career path. Mm -hmm. And I honestly stumbled into it just because I was always open to new opportunities, new learning, and being able to learn everything I could about where I was working and the customers I was serving. Mm -hmm. And by doing that, it just lent itself into project management because I can, if anyone who's good at putting pieces together, seeing a big picture and mm -hmm. helping others see that big picture, mm -hmm. that's a, that's, those are some skill sets that work really well for project managers. That's terrific. So uh, when you're not at work, what do you do for fun? What do I do for fun? Um, so my, um, most of my time is spent, I own a quarter horse okay. that I board at uh, some stables near where I live. And so it's going out to the stables. Uh, I love being around the animals, mm -hmm. uh, horses in particular, uh, and the environment. So that's one thing. Uh, as far as other interests I have, um, well, we just came to the close of football season. <laughs> so now I'm going into morning till next football season. Uh, so that's another time spent. Mm -hmm. uh, weekends, um, watching the football games. And I love to travel. And again, it goes kind of just, I just love new experiences and uh -huh. love learning new things. So I'm uh, very happy that travel opportunities have opened back up in the past yeah. year. So that's, that's what I spend my time on. What's the horse's name? Her name is Trigger's Delight. Trigger's Delight. And what does Trigger's <laughs> Delight like to eat? It's a snack. Oh, goodness. Uh, anything. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she, she loves her food. So right. uh, any kind of run-the-mill horse treat, carrots, uh, just, yeah. Right. She, she, she. You understand owning a horse, where the phrases come from mm -hmm. <laughs> as far as horses' appetites and eating and everything. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> and now that we've exited out of the pandemic, what's one location you're hoping to visit soon? Oh, what's my next one? That's a good question. I haven't planned it out yet. I just took a trip to Italy last October, uh -huh. which I'd been waiting for for two years mm -hmm. and was very happy to get to go. Uh, so my next trip will either be probably back to a different area of Italy, or it might be out to the West Coast to Napa and Sonoma. I haven't been out there before. Well, terrific. Well, Lisa, I wanna say thank you for the difference that you make here at Kettering Health. Thank you. We get to welcome new life into this world, and sometimes we hold the hands of those when life ebbs away. But it's you bringing your skill, your expertise, and helping us navigate a very complex and heavily regulated environment but the way in which you do it in a very collaborative and just a very fun way makes life a lot more fun. Thank you for this uh, great project that you've overseen. I know we're still doing, there's painting going yeah. on today. In fact, we're gonna go around and take a look at it here in a second. Yeah. But thank you for the difference that you make. It makes a profound difference in the lives of those we serve. Proud to serve with you. Thank you.